Hey what's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be doing some more themed inventories and this first inventory is just about the most creative and most dedication I've ever seen someone put into an inventory. This guy has the ultimate 420 or weed loadout. Every single skin in his inventory or um, pretty much all the skins in his loadout have a 420 float value, either the well-worn uh, .420 float or they have a really low factory new float so it's like zero. Um, 0 .00420 like these, and they all have four uh, drug war veteran stickers on them. And um, I also asked him if he had a hydroponic or planned on getting one. He said there was only one hydroponic that ex existed with a 420 float and it wasn't for sale. Um, but anyway, he's also got a 5.7 case hardened blue gem that he somehow managed to find one that had a 420 float on. Uh, this guy really put some dedication in getting all these. Um, I actually did check the floats, of course. He didn't just write these numbers here, but uh, I did check on um, some sites to make sure that he did actually have 420 floats. And uh, I think this is really cool what he did. I've never seen anyone put this much dedication and getting uh, specific floats for all their items but he's also got some cool battle scarred items uh, that are all really battle scarred this knife is actually like purple looking because of how battle scarred it is and he also has a karambit case art and i guess you can consider this like a blue gem but it's a, a lot of like purple and pink on it sort of cool knife now the next inventory is another silver or gray themed inventory um, pretty neat loadout. There was one in my last video, but I thought I'd go over another one because this one was also a pretty nice and complete silver gray loadout. He's also got the um, bayonet vanilla here, a very nice knife, definitely a good knife if, uh, for not too expensive um, compared to a lot of other knives. And he also has this off graphite. It has a uh, Kato Vitsa 2014 Titan sticker on it. And uh, yeah, so that's that guy's loadout. And now this next inventory is another battle scarred themed inventory. This guy has a ton of different skins, a ton of different uh, obscure and um, crazy skins that have these uh, super battle scarred. Actually, they're not they're not all super battle scarred. They're all just uh, somewhat battle scarred. Some of them are super battle scarred, but uh, it's pretty cool how many skins he has that are all battle scarred. Pretty much his entire loadout is made up of battle scarred skins. Uh, he's got the op hyper beast right here. Um, not nearly as battle scarred as mine though, as you can see it's still got the texture on the float, I mean the texture on the scope, I've been saying float way too much lately, but uh, he's also got an off dragon lore, pretty battle scarred, doesn't, I don't believe it's as battle scarred as mine though, well mine is the most battle scarred one, but um, he's also got this skin, this skin is, the weird thing about it is for that auto when it gets more battle scarred it actually gets like brighter I've noticed, the factory new one's dark and then it like starts to peel off and get white, um, I don't really understand how they did that for that skin or why it's like that, but he also has the Og Akihabara Accept Battles card, just about the most beautiful thing ever right there. Now I'm getting that look disgusting, but uh, we've got some more skins here. The 57 Case Card and another uh, just absolutely disgusting looking skin. Like, I didn't even know you could get a 57 that's as gray as that one until I saw this guy's inventory, but yeah, so that's his ultimate Battles card loadout. Uh, now we actually have a green loadout. Um, I think I showed a green loadout before, but this one's actually a lot cleaner and a lot neater. Um, it doesn't have a knife on it, but he has pretty much all the other um, green skins, and most of them are in the best condition. He's got both of the emerald skins, which are pretty cool. Uh, maybe he's waiting for the emerald knife update, which we know will never happen. But if it does happen, he will probably get an emerald knife by then, and uh, that would fit very well into this loadout tier of all these awesome green skins. Now this next loadout is another battle scarred loadout, but the cool thing is every single battle scarred skin here is actually um, battles. Actually, not all of them, but most of them are either souvenir or stat track, which I haven't really seen anyone do that. Usually the battle scarred loadouts um, are usually just vanilla skins, but this guy's actually got a loadout of a lot of souvenir stuff as well, which I thought was pretty sweet. And um, he's also got this knife here. This knife looks pretty cool because this knife is like super purple because of how battle scarred it is. And we're seeing a minute as purple as this one right here. So I guess the blue steels, they actually start to get pretty purple as they get really battle scarred. Now the final loadout for this video. This is a very clean, uh, neat, and expensive loadout here. Um, it's all stat track factory new skins, and they are all named after Greek gods. I don't know too much about Greek mythology, but he does have um, some pretty cool stuff in here. And they all have different names, which correspond to gods and um, stuff. So this 5-7 uh, right here also has one of the best patterns on it. Uh, I, don't, I think that's a number two pattern. I believe there's... Um, a pattern better than that. Might be a number one, depends on how you consider it. But he's got some more here, and um, 
They're all named after the Greek stuff, and they are all Stat Track Factory new. And he also has a really nice knife, which is the uh, Bayonet's uh, Ruby Stat Track. I believe it's Stat Track. Yeah, but actually has Stat Track. So this is a very expensive and valuable knife right here. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, if you want to leave any other inventories, you can try to put them in the comments, but the Reptilian Army might kind of like... Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to see the comments these days because they're all just hiss, but uh, you know, I'll try to find the legitimate comments and uh, yeah, mix skillet and I'm out.